Uh, hey, Lara, how are you? How was your time off? Do you feel refreshed? Oh, I certainly do. But it's great to be back at work, even though that does just involve going to a quiet corner of my house and, of course, putting the click sign back up. <laughs> How's your break been? Uh, it was quiet, to be honest. I managed to fill it doing all the things I haven't had time to do in the last six months. Is that a break? I'm not sure whether it is, really. I don't know, but it does feel like the start of a whole new chapter. Dating yet terrifying report there. Carl joins me now. Carl, hi. Why do you think it was so difficult for the authorities to be able to police this content? Because what we did see in the film was that counter-terrorism authorities in the US and the UK had been contacted, but that didn't seem to amount to a great deal. How do you think this content can ever be stopped? That was Chris. Now, over the summer, one of the many festivals to be cancelled was the Edinburgh Fringe. Usually thousands of performers descend upon Scotland, bringing comedy, dance and theatre. Yeah, this is a really big deal. I love this festival. I especially love watching all of the comedians testing out their new material. But you have been making up for it online, haven't you? Yeah, I have. So that's it for this week. I hope you've enjoyed the programme. As ever, you can keep up with the team on social media, on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter at BBC Click. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon. Bye bye.